This is the Whirlpool WTW4950HW Top Load High Efficiency Washing Machine. Um, now this video is going to be very similar to the one I did on the WTW4955 model as this washer is nearly identical with the exception of the impeller inside versus having an agitator inside. Um, now this is a 3.9 cubic foot capacity washer with a low profile impeller and a stainless steel drum. The low profile impeller, as you see down here in the bottom, is a motorized blade at the bottom of the tub which turns one way while the wash tub turns the other. Impeller washing machines use the friction of the actual clothes themselves rubbing against themselves to clean them. Listen, this, this allows for a much less abrasive cleaning action than traditional agitator machines. But if you have heavily soiled garments regularly, such as if you have small children or kids playing sports or you do work outside or in mechanic work, for example, then an impeller machine may not be for you. However, if you don't generally get very dirty, then this machine will actually be a lot more gentle on your clothes. Um, you'll, you'll actually notice that there's less lint in your dryer's lint trap when you use an impeller machine. That's because you don't have that traditional agitator beating up on your fabrics. Uh, you open this thing up, get the uh, drain hose with it, get some nice detergent pods that come with it for free. Um, you can also see this has a pretty good energy guide rating. About $30 a year average operating cost compared to similar products and it can be anywhere from you know, 10 to 71 dollars so this one falls pretty good in the spectrum it does have that stainless steel tub so it will be gentle on your fabrics also um, whirlpool lists this on their website as a 4.5 cubic foot capacity but that's a little misleading and i've explained this before in other videos but this is the iec measurement iec is not the industry standard in the u.s anymore for washer capacities now it is the DOE measurements. Uh, most top load washers do use the DOE measurement, which will give you a smaller capacity, but it is, in my opinion, more true to the actual usable space. So once again, just be sure that you know which measurement method that your manufacturer or retailer is claiming uh, for the capacity. This being a 3.9, you can fit a queen size comforter in it. Um, in a washer this size, you can fit around 16 to 18 pounds of clothes in it. Uh, a good example of that is a child's full outfits, two to three pounds, while an adult's full outfit can weigh anywhere from three to five pounds. Um, this should, once again, be big enough for you know, two to four people. Any more than that, you're going to be washing more loads than you, than you want to. Um, this water selection knob, this gives you the options of auto sensing or deep water wash. If you put it on auto sensing, then this washer is going to weigh the load at the beginning of the cycle and it's going to determine the appropriate, appropriate amount of water to add. Typically this will be enough water, but if you want more, there is the deep fill option. When deep fill is selected, the washer will still auto sense, but it's then going to add one load size over what the auto sensor sensed that it needed. Um, for example, like if, if you if you put it on a deep water fill and then the washer sensed that you had a medium sized load, then the washer will add the amount of water that it would have added had it sensed a large load. This will make your cycle run a little bit longer due to the increased time needed to fill the washer. Over here you got the soil selection knob. This allows for you to choose the level of agitation that you'd like. So for heavily soiled garments, you're going to want to choose the heavy um, or maybe on a large load also. Um, you want to choose light on lightly soiled loads or maybe when you're just washing your delicates. There's a quick wash cycle here. That's going to be just a little quick wash in 30 minutes. It's going to have a higher spin speed to sling more water out of the clothes and cut down on drying time. You've also got some soak cycles here. You'll notice with the little blue lines like the uh, whites, whites with soak. And then you've got over here you've got colors and colors with soak. That's going to give you a pre-soak before you actually start the wash on the clothes. Uh, and then you've also got this bulky or sheet cycle and you're going to use that for large items like your comforters or maybe hunting clothes or coveralls, things like that. Um, this model also has the extra rinse option here. 
you're going to use that and that's going to help with getting out any residual detergents and it should once again it should always be used when you're using fabric softener now, an interesting note on this machine is that it does not actually have a fabric softener dispenser so you're actually going to have to manually add your fabric softener during the final rinse on this washer um, as with all Whirlpool washing machines, they are designed, engineered, and assembled in the U.S. It's a good, solid machine. Thanks, guys.